Today I got a very exciting package from PCBWA. Come on board! Yes. They also threw in some stickers too. And a pen. In this video, I will compare and explain the differences between the manufactured board from PCB Way and the board that we made from the garage. At first glance, I don't see any differences. I have to say that the board we made in the garage is just as good looking from the board we got from the fab. To me, they're practically twins. Wait, hold on. I think my contacts fell out. Okay, now that I can see clearly, there are just some minor visual aesthetic differences. I mean, the main differences I can see is the garage board lacks the silkscreen text layer as well as the pre-tinned copper pads. I can always write in the component designator by hand and place solder paste over these copper pads. The PCB Way board is multi-layered with both front and back side component footprint pads and has plated through hole vias. It is made out of FR4 rated fiberglass material with one ounce copper on the top and bottom layer. For this board, we use the Snapmaker 2.0 to mill out the traces on FR1 copper board made out of paper composite. Using this FR1 copper board is a lot safer to work with and breathe around in the garage compared to the FR4 fiberglass. The board is only single sided and does not have pre tinned copper pads or plated through hole vias as mentioned earlier. Both circuit boards work. Admittedly, the manufacturer board is professionally made, but the board that you can make yourself is very viable if done properly. We assembled the PCB on both boards and as you see, they both work. However, if you would want to know the exact electrical, mechanical, and thermal differences between each board, I would refer you to take a look at the IPC4101 specification for base materials for rigid and multi-layer printed boards. PCB Way, who recently partnered with our channel, covered our board order, which took them two days to make and ship. And it took another seven days for us until we received our shipment. In total, we received five board panels, a stencil, and some complimentary goodies. For the DIY board, it takes about two hours to mill and drill out a 3x3 three three panel, and another 30 minutes per board to solder mask. Within a few hours, I can make a couple solder mask boards for me to use, assemble, and test with. But if I were to make five board panels, it would take a lot more time and effort. I would recommend to first mill out some test boards on your own and iterate on your design if you can. Then seek out to get your board made in larger quantities or if you have complex multi-layer designs. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope that it was helpful knowing some of the differences between a PCB manufactured board with a DIY board made in the garage. The project showcased in this video is going to be a Kickstarter project launching in July 1st. Thank you for our partner PCB Way for providing us our PCBs for this video. Please check them out and consider using them for your next PCB project. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment sections below. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks.